Hello guys, my name is Michael Okunoro. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'll be sharing with you how to become an influencer. This is 2024 and over the years we've seen how work has changed from typical and traditional role of what's having medical doctor or lawyer down to influencers and content creators and everything. And so this is what I'm about to talk to you today that how do you become an influencer in 2024? But before we do that, if you're not new here, you know how we do it. My name is Michael Okunor, if you're meeting me for the first time, I'm a fashion designer, digital creator and event host. And this is my daily vlog where I share about daily outfits, inspiration, and most importantly, other fashion team. If you're into fashion business, I get to share about my series, how to grow your fashion business on Tuesday. But on Monday, I come here to inspire someone just for me to share my thoughts with you as you go into the week. But before we get into that, let's get into the outfit of the day. You know how we do it. It's a Monday outfit of the day. So let's go. Outfit of the day: classic single button suit from 2019 styles. I go with a sky blue shirt, green socks, and a deeper shade of blue on my pocket square. It's a very simple tone today. This is a business look Monday. I chose a low fast over a dress shoe because I'm not wearing a tie today. And so. With that, I have my outfit of the day, and it's something quite simple. I believe one of the best ways to stay stylish and to elevate your look from the norms is you trying out monochrome, which is similar to what I've done today. And what I've done today is to go for a shirt that is a lighter shade of blue with a deeper blue jacket. And for accessories as well, I've gone for like a deeper shade of blue, which is not the same color with my shirt, nor the same color with my jacket, just for you to stand out. And with this, I have my outfit of the day. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section. So with that being said, an outfit of the day out of the way. How do you become a person of influence in 2024? Or how do you become influential? Or how do you become more influential? And why is it important for us to be an influencer in our field in 2024. So there is a quote I saw recently that actually changed my thoughts or inspired this today's topic. And the quote goes this way, you inspire a lot of people, even the people that are pretending not to watch. And this is what happened from being a person of influence. Whether we like it or not, in our area of field, whether you're being a social media influencer or not, you're influencing somebody today. Although the things you're doing, you're inspiring others, be it good, be it bad. There are two equal sides to the world. There's the good, there's the bad. So whatever you're doing, the things you're paying attention to and the ones you're not paying attention to, you're influencing somebody out there. You're inspiring somebody. And a lot of times the people we're influencing, we don't even know them. We're not able to meet them, especially in the world of social media. Now when everything is online and people can see you, you're sharing your story, you're sharing your pictures, you're sharing your life, the life you're living or how you're doing your things is influencing someone. And so I believe that in every area of our lives, in any place or in any situation we find out so we need to always hold that at the back of our mind that yes i am influencing somebody i am my decisions is affecting somebody's decision there is somebody looking up to me and there is somebody that i'm inspiring i remember when i lost my mom at the funeral it is it is a norms back in nigeria or it is a culture back in nigeria where we have a wake up service and either wake up service or service or song where you have people come out and they talk about the disease i I believe I honestly wish a whole lot of people can stay alive or we can say these things we say to people or we can tell these stories we tell at people's funeral we can tell them when they are alive this is the opportunity people get to share the stories those inspiring stories of how the disease has influenced their life or how their friendship or ways the disease has affected their life I remember at my home mom's funeral the guy who sold a casket to us came for a funeral and came out to speak and in his words, he said uh, my mom was one of the people who encouraged him. I, although I regret my mom 
encouraging him to go forward in that business in a way. But in his own world, my mom was one of the people who influenced him in going into the business, especially in the early days of his business. My mom had just lost her own mom as at that time. Her mom, which happens to be my own grandmother, and they needed to bury her. And so she had gone there to get a casket, and that is how they met. And he was just starting out. And, but my mom and daddy was able to encourage him from my own experience, we was able to share information she had known about business with him. And years down the lane, the business is already flourishing, he's already doing well, and he was there to give testimony to say, You see, this woman, this woman has impressed my life greatly. And this is, and those words on that day changed our view, like, changed my own perspective as well. Because I would like to look back one day and to hear from somebody to say, When I was drowning, this person gave me hope to survive. Or this person was the one who stretched their hand to survive. And like what well, we've always known that give, it shall be given unto you. So what you're able to give unto others, you as well will be able to get it back in return at the time needed as well. So you need to always carry the mindset and also know at the back of your mind that in everything you're doing, you're influencing someone and you want to influence someone positively. That is, and that is one of the things we can do for this generation, for this world, to be a person of influence, for us to share the same light within us, with others. If you've gone through a difficult situation, if you've gone through a life-changing situation that has taught you a lesson, teach that unto others as well. Offer help to people in your area of field, in your area of industry, in whatever you're doing. I want to encourage you out there today that be a person of influence. What you've learned, be willing to teach it unto others as well. I can't remember the Bible verse that says that God comforts us during difficult times for us to be able to comfort others as well during that difficult time. And that comfort that God comforts us, it is not a comfort that comes from God like telling you, comforting you. It is the comfort you as well get from other people encouraging you in that situation or guiding you through that situation or people who you do not even know directing you or rooting for you. And so you also want to be that person. Always carry that comfort Consciousness. This is the only way we can all create a long-lasting influence that will supersede our own existence ourselves. So please, if you're in tech, if you're in law, if you're in accounting, whatever area or whatever field, as a husband, as a wife, especially as a father or as a, as a mother, we are the great influencer for our kids. Whatever we are doing, our kids are also watching. People pay attention to actions, not just words, because words are Everybody can speak, but the action is what people pay attention to. Okay, as you're going into the new week, I hope I've been able to influence you by my own action of making this video for you to influence other people for you to share your light the the joy what god has gifted you with what god has blessed you with for you to as well share it with other people in your space in your own life as well and on that note that is all i have for you today i'll see you tomorrow on my daily vlog my name is michael color I'm a fashion designer, a digital creator, and event host. And thank you for watching. If you find this helpful, kindly share it with someone that you know it should be of help to as well. And on that note, peace out.